Namaste and a very, very good evening to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to create a stacked column chart using Power BI. Even before I proceed to demonstrate how to create a stacked column chart using Power BI, my request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Let's begin by expanding the visualization pane that you are seeing. When you expand the visualizations pane, you are able to see a whole bunch of charts here. In the very first row, the second chart from the left side is called a stacked column chart. The first thing that you need to do is click on the stacked column chart. The moment you click on the stacked column chart, in the report canvas, you are able to see the representation of stacked column chart. Let me go ahead and expand the stacked column chart. As of now, the stacked column chart is not populated with variables and therefore Power BI has not created any chart. To create the chart, you need to drag and drop a few variables. Let me access the fields by clicking on the fields pane that is present to the top left hand side corner. The moment you click on the fields pane, you are able to see the name of the data set which is sample superstore. Let me expand to see all the variables that are present in this particular data set. You see a lot of useful variables like discount, profit, quantity, region, row ID, sales and subcategory. For this analysis, I will be using only three variables that is subcategory, sales and region. Firstly, I will drag and drop the variable subcategory into X axis. I repeat, I will drag and drop the variable subcategory into X axis. Once you do this, the next action that you need to perform is to drag and drop the scale variable, namely sales, into the Y axis. Very simple. The categorical variable I am using along the X axis and the scale variable I am using along the Y axis. So far, with just two variables, I am able to create a simple bar chart which shows the distribution of sales in the y-axis broken down by different categories. Now the last thing that I need to do is specify the legend. You can use any categorical variable. For this video I will be using the variable region along the legend. The moment you drag and drop the variable region into legend what are you able to see? Each bar for the subcategory is broken down by four different colors. Each of these four colors you can see in the legend section represents a particular region. For example, if I hover the mouse on one of the bars, this represents the distribution of total sales in the central region for the phone's subcategory. For better understanding, what you can do is, you can click on one of the regions, namely West. <coughs> My apologies. The moment you click on the Western region, you can see only the Western, only the, re, only the colors corresponding to the Western region gets highlighted. If you want to display and highlight only the colors corresponding to the Southern region, you can click on the South legend. The same thing can be done for the eastern region as well. The moment you choose east in the legend, only the blue bars gets highlighted. If you want to display and highlight only the central region, you can go ahead and click on the legend for the central region. So this is how you can interpret the stacked column chart. There's one additional thing that I want to do, which is to display the data labels. For this, I am going to expand the chart by taking this in a focus mode. You can see here, the, char the chart is now expanded. To display the data labels, you need to click on a button which is called as Format Your Visual. This is the button which you need to click on. Once you click on the Format Your Visual option, you can scroll down here. There's an option called as data labels. 
that right now it's in the off mode, I can go ahead and turn it on. The moment I choose the on mode, you can see here for each color of the subcategory, Power BI highlights the value of the sales. For example, if you randomly choose a particular bar, it says the distribution of sales in southern region for binders is 37,030 units. So this is how Power BI makes it very, very easy for us to format. Next, let me scroll up. You can see here, this is the title. In case you want to increase the font of the title. Firstly, you need to go back to the report. But the moment you click on report, the numbers here that is shown through data labels, that will vanish. Let me go ahead and change the title. To change the title, I can click on the general option. You can see here the text by default, by default, Power BI has given the title of sum of sales by subcategory and region. I would say total sales, sorry, this has to be total sales by subcategory and region. This is nothing but total sales by subcategory and region. If you want to increase the font size, what you can do is you can go to the fonts option. Right now, the font size is 14. You can go ahead and increase the font size. Further, you can scroll down and change the alignment to center. Let me remove the visualization option. Now you can see you've successfully created a stacked column chart using Power BI. With this, I have come to the end of today's video. I request you to subscribe to my channel. Also like and share my videos. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day ahead.